Tigers are certainly falling quite a bit faster than B Gaming. In the end though, Yupa finding the first kill. It is the E100 of Haponers going down, so a big gun off the field here for B Gaming, but I still feel like they have that HP pool to play with. They should be able oh, to close out these kills. They just need to focus and fire a little bit better. Mordame though coming in behind one of those AMX 50Bs. That's another kill going the way of Karen Tiger and B Gaming. Really, that focus fire is just not there yet. Not three taking tanks, the tanks off the field. Three tanks below 100 HP. That's just not quite good enough here for B Gaming. Karen Tiger might be able to slip in a sneaky win here. Yupa finds another oh. kill. It's T4 <laughs> going down. B Gaming, what are you aiming at? Because I can tell you it's not the right thing. Look at that. 59 health. 49 health, Akio V's just gone down, finally B Gaming take a tank off the field there, Karen Tiger are running away with a match that they should not have, and with Shino Zacket going down. They're going to be surprising Meltdown, I do not think Meltdown expecting this, they've got two members on the beach. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see from EL Gaming, this aggressive push, and they've timed it pretty much exactly as they needed to. Even Fall is not even going to have his clip loaded before he goes down quiet, picking up that kill, but now Hardliner, that's Sun Me from last season. Still sitting on that flag together, but at the moment it's looking like a 3 versus 2 B Gaming. Getting the better of it. Fox TS does get a good shot into the back of Tanky as he crosses over the tracks there. And now it comes down to Nice and Black. Oh no. And they take out the kill here. Nice does take down Tanky, who did only manage to do one point or one shot of damage over to Nice. I think EL Gaming have got Six this. Seconds. I think they've clutched this one out. I don't see a reset coming across here. And even if I do, it's just not going to be enough for B Gaming. There you go. That's That'll it. be that. They've capped it out. EL Gaming. who are going to cross quite safely. Krazib takes a fair oh bit of damage, no. but these bat chats might be able to get in here onto Meltdown and deal some damage. Pack Manius gets absolutely demolished straight off the bat. Pink Pink picking up that kill, but have a look at this. My Lion is going to go down as well. Madhouse at least able to trade one back, but I think this is well and truly in the favor of Meltdown for the moment. Roby one Kenobi should go down from one more shot from Rush and does. Does he looks like. Yeah, look, they're not spotting the right angle. They're spotting down uh, that second street, but not the first one. Yeah. So even Paul has managed to actually make his way up towards the flag. And I mean, he's actually still alive, but Pathfinder here is going to be able to push him onto the flag into the position that he needs. Even Paul will go down. Maybe he can get a shot across, but I don't actually think he's going to move his turret because they need it in that particular position for the IS-7 to be able to uh, hide behind it. Even Paul is a free kill there for B Gaming, as expected, but now the difficulty really begins because they're going to need to be able to remove Pathfinder. You know, Hulk and I7 is not something that they're going to be too keen to fight. Not at all.